I'm Sheila Wedegas and welcome to my studio. Today is the fourth taping of painting a black lab in water and I am using oils and today we're going to do a little bit more of the detail around the dog's head. So let's begin. Ready Sam? Go. <laughs> He's like my little mascot there. The other day someone asked me um, what glazing was and how I did that. And what it is, is sometimes I use a medium with it and it's almost like a no color and you glaze over the entire painting. And I will be doing that a little bit later. Um, but today I just really wanted to work in some of the details of the dog so that when we do get to the water and the water washes over him, I can um, glaze, that's when I will be glazing the water over. So I will explain that more when we're doing that. Okay. He is in movement, but I just really like to get more of this in. Okay. Go to a little bit bigger brush now. And I still am using turpentine with this. And with the glazing I'll be using Neomeglip, which is by Gamblin, and a great medium that I can start really layering some more paint. Okay. Also, if there's anything in particular that you would like to see me video and paint, please let me know. Um, you can email me at sophie at palm-spirit.com or as you're seeing it on Facebook, you can just email me that way. I'd be more than happy to do things that you would like to see. Sticking with the head right now, I'm going to add a little bit of white to that mixture. Get some of the indications of I'm going to leave his bottom jaw and get his ear in. And I hope you can see this okay. And I, I work quickly so that I can capture that speed of him as he swims in the motion. So I think that is what really makes the painting. lighter. Okay, now I'm going to take some white paint get a smaller brush, pointy brush I should say Then I'm going to take my radiant blue that I love 
and I'm going to just start indicating a little bit of wetness up here. along the bridge of his nose also. of the water coming on his hair. And then, actually coming up oops, a little bit of his hair sticking up. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit darker there. I think this video might run a little bit longer today. <clears throat> and I'm working a little bit thicker paint also. So I can get... Okay, his eye. How are we doing? videographer person. Seven minutes almost. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay, and there's a line back here. Okay. All right. Let me just get some white. water coming in. And try to work it back and forth so you get the feel that some highlights of his ears come down and as I work the painting there's going to be times where I'm going to be down here but come back up again because I'll see an area that okay it really needed more of something and work the whole piece and smooth everything out. Okay. So I think I'm going to leave you here and we'll continue on Monday. So you can all have a great weekend. And I better stop because I'll keep on going. You know what I want to do before I go? Give him a little drop right here. He's going to have many drops on him before the time is over, but. I just wanted to add that and maybe indicate where the water is going to come down here. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you on Monday. Thank you. Bye-bye.